Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, Colin Chow, and today's episode is one of those more exciting episodes where it's a show-and-tell episode where I've managed to find something from archives, and I realized, oh, yeah, I totally forgot about it. I actually had this. So I'm um, going to go get it over some Orange Road art books uh, in this episode. So you know, before we begin, I want to remind everyone to uh, you know, have a Merry Christmas, and, uh, again, and uh, if you follow the links below, uh, you know, please hit subscribe. Please hit like. Uh, again, um, you know, again, if you just uh, just by pressing like, it does uh, you know trigger the YouTube algorithm to uh, help recommend my videos more often and get uh, you know more people to see the, you know, them show up in the search engines and that kind of stuff. So it really does help when you press uh, when you go down and press like. That's great. And again, if you have any comments, again, you can put that in, the, in there below. Again, it helps the algorithm. Uh, do its thing by following conversation and that whatnot. Okay, um, I also have available the uh, super thanks button to launch. Again, if you really like this particular episode, uh, you can support me that way. And the other financial ways you can support me as well is I do have a, a Patreon and a PayPal uh, available as well. And uh, right now I'm kind of right now I'm in the middle of reworking um, the storage and location of all the episodes. So again, so you have to pardon me. I'm you know in the middle of sort of relocating and re making the link table so uh, i gotta put that uh, you know rebuild that and re put that together but again lots of good content out there and um there's you know some new changes and that kind of stuff to the content i'll, I'll put a, i'll put a video and uh, some sort of announcement for that um a little bit later uh in regards to that and i'll also probably put a slightly new announcement episode um you know just just uh, going forward uh you know, with all the extra content that's uh, coming up there um i'll put an announcement for that but again make sure you're down below and click uh, you know, like and subscribe, and then you get to see you know more stuff as I put it out. Okay. All right. So today's episode is about um, Orange Road Artworks. And I kind of ran across this when I was just sort of real you know, browsing on eBay, and you know the topic of Orange Road sort of came up. So you know, you know, it just sort of you know came up in the search and looking at things. And I just realized just how expensive Akimi Yitaka the art books are. I just, just was just so suddenly amazed. It's like you know that that you know it's not just you know, you take the yen price and you just say, okay, well, you know, um, you know, ten thousand yen. You just move the decimal place over; it should be like a hundred bucks, right? But then, you know, I just realized, wow, these things are like vastly more expensive. I mean, they, you know, they're in the four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars. I'm just, just, just so amazed at how uh, just, I just so, really sort of out of the, uh, uh, you know, out, uh, out of reach as some of these things are. And I'm just just uh, go, go through them and, and uh, you know, looking at the different books, and I'm kind of thinking, wow, you know, um, just just uh, looking at how expensive they are. So you know, when I was doing some you know reorganization and, and uh, you know going through the archives and that kind of stuff, I've managed to pull out uh, one of the one of the books, and I realized, oh wait a minute, I have that book. So, all right, this is the graphic anthology collection. Okay, this is you know done by uh, Jump. Um, uh, you know, so like, like Jump Magazine or whatever it is, okay? This particular art book covers all the artwork done by the manga artist, Matsumoto, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, this is sort of, you know, you know the different sort of art, art styles and that kind of stuff, uh, also done happening with Orange Road. And again, also very, very expensive, not as expensive as the Kimitaka and stuff, because, you, you know, the, her artwork is really uh, quite amazing. Um, so, without further delay, let's look and see what's inside these books. I mentioned was this one here for the uh, graphic anthology collection for Matsumoto. Okay, so he's the one who makes the uh, the, the manga, right? So he's got you know. So this is uh, you're going to be full of uh, various pictures and that kind of stuff you see uh, for that. Okay, um, again, um, it uh, goes for three thousand uh, three thousand eight hundred yen. Okay, so normally thirty eight dollars US kind of thing back then. Okay, and this stuff does go you know, for quite a lot nowadays. Again, because it's just, it's just how rare this book is. Um, but this is, uh, again, a very nice sort of book. And it starts off with uh, various different, you know, pictures and that kind of stuff. And I know there's a, a very you know, famous uh, picture for like that. So again, you know, so a lot of the pictures from the manga cover and that kind of stuff. I remember this one. I think that's a uh, uh, cover from manga number 10. I believe. Okay. So different images and that kind of stuff for one of the covers. That's another cover right there. One of the mangas. 
And uh, yeah, so it's a mixed source as well. Where, where some of it's you know using a little bit of Photoshop. Some of it's using like you know kind of almost like cell artwork like style. That's another one that I recognize. That's from okay, very very famous picture that a lot of people like to use. That work, yeah. Nice cover there. That's another manga cover right there. And that's the cover for the last issue, if I remember right. Some variated covers and that kind of stuff and whatnot. A little more style in some of them here. And this is sort of you know, some of the newer ones that he sort of put, you know. I like that one. That's, uh, or whether they're trying to portray you know, you're interested in that one. But really nice. Very nice. So sort of like a he sort of postcard sort of as if uh, you know <laughs> well, not really a manga per se, but you know, it, it, uh, some ideas and, and, and tossings, tossings of that kind of thing there. And yet goes back. Yeah, of course, yeah. So now he, he also has a, a, another uh, manga called uh, Sesame Street. Uh, you know, no relation to the you know kids show Sesame Street, but of course, you know, this is uh, some of the other stuff that he does for you know, three volumes of that one. He's throwing it in for extra things. These are some of the other things that he's worked on and has worked. And of course, this is where he actually puts all the credits. So when I actually say, you know, you know, what is it actually the cover for or whatnot, it actually tells you in this page um, where they're all actually uh, supposed to be for, which is always good. They always like that. Okay. And the other nice thing about this thing is it has a CD-ROM here, okay, which contains various images and that kind of stuff and, and whatnot that's available, uh, you know, that you, so you can basically put it into your computer uh, it's available, you know, works on Macs or, or Windows. I think I, I haven't even opened this thing to, to, to actually, you know, look at that. But, you know, you can see it actually has layout of the files and, and all the different different pictures and graphics. Again, so, you know, for those, those people who, you know, you know, w w you know, like a particular image or something like that, then, they, you know, they can see examples not because of from the actual thing. So, which is, you know, which is pretty cool. Okay. And again, there's the... Um, uh, the 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 picture that uh, you know I think this was one of the most memorable one for me is that one because it says that it's for it's for that last issue that had that never really you know, cringy episode that I just just could not get through. Anyway, uh, I can see that I bought it from the Wase Bookstore because this is their this is their price uh, sticker for that. So thirty eight hundred yen, which is thirty eight dollars US. Um, they charged me eighty three dollars and sixty cents. Okay, for this one. So again more than twice the price approaching three times the price uh for this particular um uh, magazine but uh, again very very nice uh you know um as an orange road person you know you you know this is you know, one of the essential sort of to make your com uh, collection complete because you know this now contains all the artwork and that kind of stuff that you got from the manga for the series okay so again uh, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> These, you know, this book still does go. It's not as expensive as the Madoka book, but you no, know, definitely still uh, a really valuable book to have uh, for your collection if you if you're really into you know, collecting Orange Road books. All right. All right. So I hope you had a uh, you know, you know there's a nice sort of uh, introduction to for you know people who like Orange Road, and that's you know it's at the time when we were getting these art books. Like you know, this is the only way to get you know really high resolution, high, you know, quality pictures of Orange Road and that kind of stuff. Especially if you, you know, if you, you know, so fascinated about the artwork, you know, you, you, you know, you just can't, you know, stay with the, you know, the graininess of, of, uh, you know, a VGA resolution picture, um, you know, and whatnot. And, uh, things like, uh, you know, like, well, you know, uh, like, what well, your screen, um, you know, background screens and that kind of stuff, or if you're using it for, you know, an action art project or something like that, you know, you need something like these books to actually have the images of high enough quality that you could actually uh, use them for that purpose, right? So, again, these art books are really, really expensive now, 
Um, well, they're, <laughs> I guess they're really expensive all around. As you know, even when when I got them, they were pretty expensive. Uh, but now that the, you know, because of the rarity of them and, and the fact that you know the people who have orange wood books like this are still holding on to them, uh, just because of the value of the you know the, that they are, and just just you know such a nice book they are. Um, they're very really worth keeping. So uh, again. Um, that's why they've grown up so again. So I just hope that you know, you, you you know you're aware of these type of things and and certain types of books uh, of this uh, nature and, and uh, for you know, for your various people's favorite animes. Um, yeah, they really do escalate really quickly because uh, I said uh, some people are just just enjoy that kind of thing and you know beginning you know that hard to get now. It's uh, you know, it, it definitely is an indication of uh, of uh, how valuable and how, how sought after some of this stuff is. All right. So, again, um, make sure you click subscribe and like below, and then uh, we'll get into more episodes as I find some other cool things uh, from archives uh, to show you, all right? So, until next time, I'll see you again.